Welcome back to Cheddar Climb. It's the fight for change. Turns High Technologies is revving up its sustainable electric motors, completing a $33 million funding round with backing from the Amazon Climate Pledge Fund. Joining us now, Ryan Morris, Chairman and CEO of Turns High Technologies. Ryan, welcome to the show. I'm going to dive right in. What do you plan to do with this new funding? Yeah, thanks, thanks for having me. Uh, and I appreciate certainly all the coverage that you and lots of others are giving to this sustainability movement that uh, that really is necessary. Um, I mean, the world's not got that much time left to solve this. And obviously having more money now is going to help us uh, solve a lot more uh, of the world's motors than, um, than we would be able to otherwise. Uh, I mean, electric motors consume half the electricity in the entire world. world and most of them are the same design that uh, Nikola Tesla made in 1888. So it's a lot of room for improvement. Turntide uses digital DNA in its motors. Ryan, I have to ask what that means exactly and how does it differ from other motors in this market? Yeah, so about 98% of the motors in the world are what's called an AC induction motor that Nikola Tesla invented in 1888. It's an inherently electromechanical design. So it's defined by its materials, uh, any other high efficiency electric motors out there use permanent magnets and other exotic materials. Uh, when we say we have a digital DNA motor, our motors are very simple commodity materials, which makes them very low cost and very sustainable to manufacture, um, but they're very hard to control. So it wasn't until in the recent, you know, sort of five years or so that you had enough computing power both to shape the current going into the motor, which needs to be done very precisely, and then also to design the motors with uh, a simulation-based design. So we're really, it's a motor that's really been reinvented uh, from from the you know digital world software first. Uh, we like to say we have software wrapped in metal. Software wrapped in metal, I like that. You know, when we think about electric technology, most of us do think about cars. What other opportunities does this kind of technology, what else can it play in? What else can it be used for, I should say? Yeah, it's a great question. So vehicles, uh, really the problem there is actually more so the batteries. You know, the battery is a $20,000 problem. The motor is a $2,000 problem. Uh, most of where electric motors are used are in stationary in buildings. So if you think of HVAC, pumps, compressors, you know, if you've ever walked up a flight of stairs of a 50 story building, that is how much energy is going into the water coming out of the tap in the, in the restroom on the, you know, high floor of a skyscraper. So there's a massive amount of energy that gets used into moving physical things in the world. Um, air conditioning, uh, obviously is growing faster than GDP, partly because of global warming, partly because of. Uh, many other reasons. And motors are like 100% of the energy behind those. And for the average consumer, what does that mean? What difference will your technology make to them? So we're really focused on the commercial and industrial segments uh, because those are much, much bigger at the moment. Eventually, we'll get into residential air conditioner applications. Uh, but for the commercial building, our focus is largely on um, big retailers and big facility managers like JLL. Uh, BMW is using us for their manufacturing facilities, for example. Um, we have a number of big chain stores that you know have thousands of air conditioners on the roof to to condition the space or grocery chains that kind of thing so what it's going to mean is that we see 64 percent energy reduction uh in replacing those motors so we can retrofit the existing systems we're also getting into new systems but the bigger footprint is on retrofitting sort of like an led lighting upgrade so uh you get about a two-year payback on the on the energy savings as you and your team work on this technology, how do you think we can move forward towards a sustainable future, Ryan? So there's a lot of fantastic work being done on the generation side. So if you look at solar, photovoltaic, wind, uh, that's half of the equation where we're really focused and where I think there's increasing amount of attention is on the demand side of the equation. So if you look at the things that are gonna use electricity, you have to make them more efficient so that all of that energy goes into purposeful things that serve humanity and not into thermodynamic loss or you know wasted unintelligent activities. Um, so there's a huge uh, wave that we're uh, looking to drive of improving energy efficiency. So uh, motors again consume half the electricity in the world. Lighting, you've already had the LED revolution that's really nearly you know 100% efficient. So that that is going to continue to to pervade. Um, but that that efficiency demand side, I would say. Uh, more intelligence, like from IoT systems, from computer systems, that really blows open that whole demand side uh, to improve. What's next for Turn Tide Technologies, Ryan? 
Uh, so Q4 is a big quarter for us. So we've we've had a lot of big orders from big customers that we've been building up to, um, and we'll be uh, you know kind of at a, a new level of kind of being a sustainable company and and having a, a long term uh, you know customer base that's been ramped up um, through this this rest of Q4. So it's kind of my metaphor is getting the airplane off the ground. Every company starts as kind of a pile of parts on a runway, and hopefully eventually you get an airplane and get it moving to, to lift speed. And so that's kind of the next phase for us. And then next year is really going to be about expanding massively the number of applications, the number of motors, the level of depth of the system we can bring intelligence to. Uh, that's what's really coming up over the next few quarters for us. We certainly will be watching. Please come back to discuss your new technology. Ryan Moore is chairman and CEO of Turn Tide Technologies. Thank you so much.